a brand new trilogy might be making its way to Game Pass soon and Guardians of the Galaxy gets ray tracing support for the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. Welcome everybody and thank you for joining me. So the news for Xbox related stuff has been quiet for a while now which is why I have been covering other topics as well but we do have a few things to get into in the world of Xbox that is worth talking about. As always most of the stories revolve around Xbox Game Pass as this is a service that Xbox is looking to grow. Ever since they announced that they were going all in on Game Pass and releasing all of their first party games day and date, a huge focus and spotlight has been on Xbox to deliver something new and fresh all of the time. For the most part they have managed to do that, whether it is through their acquisition of Bethesda and releasing all of those games on Game Pass, partnering with EA Play or just their work that they do on cloud gaming, there seems to be something for everyone. With that said, fans and members of the service always wondering what the new edition is going to be and thanks to a new leak on their very own store we do now know. As per comic book, a new Xbox Game Pass leak has revealed that one of gaming's best selling trilogies is being added to the subscription service on the Xbox One, Xbox Series S, Xbox Series X and PC. In other fewer words, it looks like Xbox Game Pass is adding Mass Effect Legendary Edition. That said, right now it is unclear if it is being added through EA Play or not. If it's added through EA Play it would mean that it will be limited to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, the pricier tier of subscription service that comes with EA Play and Xbox Live Gold for an extra $5 a month. The leak comes the way of the official Xbox Store which briefly slapped the Xbox Game Pass logo onto the game. This logo has since been removed but not before the internet or more specifically XGP got each receipt. Unfortunately the leak doesn't reveal when the trilogy is coming to the subscription service but it should be soon if the newer cover assist with the logo has already been created and uploaded to the digital storefront. Now honestly this edition does make a lot of sense. In fact I spoke about it before and actually did not buy the games again because I knew it would only be a matter of time before we see it on Xbox Game Pass. EA Play is already partnered with them so the game filtering through Xbox Game Pass is only logical. And I do believe that is how it will work, I don't think that they will just be adding the game to Game Pass, it will be available through Ultimate on EA Play but be that as it may it doesn't really matter, it is just great that they will be adding it. Many people are a fan of these games and will be excited to play it again with improved visuals and probably also glad that they won't have to pay for it again. But then moving on to another game that I have my suspicions about on Game Pass Guardians of the Galaxy. As per Games Radar Adios Montreal announced a brand new update would be hitting Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Headlighting the new update is ray tracing capabilities on both the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X through a special mode dedicated to a new graphical vitality. However it isn't entirely clear if the dedicated ray tracing mode for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X version of Idios Montreal Hall game reduces the frame rate output which is currently boosted to 60 frames per second on both new generation consoles. The patch also mentioned improved performance on the PlayStation 4 version of Guardians of the Galaxy but again there is no specific. There is also the ability to unlock the frame rate of the Xbox Series S version. Adios Montreal cautioned that although this allows the Guardians of the Galaxy Adventure to run between 30 and 60 frames per second, you'll likely see less stable frame rates in certain areas unless you are using a monitor or TV with the dedicated variable refresh rate mode. So if you are a fan of this game, maybe now would be the perfect time to go and check it out. But anyway, this is where I'm going to end it. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you would like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. And as always, please remember to stay safe, wash your hands, don't touch your face, and I hope to see you again soon.